Relief, pride and satisfaction after a risky job well done. This is the Barcelona-based medical team that has changed one man's life forever. We are grateful to the patient for his confidence because this was life or death surgery and it has been successful. The patient suffered severe disfigurement five years ago after accidentally shooting himself in the face. The first part of the procedure lasted four and a half hours and saw surgeons remove veins, arteries, cheekbones and the jaw. The donor face was then connected to the recipient's blood supply. Finally, teams of surgeons attached the new face to the main blood vessels in the neck and used wires and plates to connect the bones together. The gruelling operation took a total of 24 hours. Seven days after the surgery, the recipient asked to look in the mirror. He reacted calmly and with satisfaction. Obviously he couldn't speak, so he wrote down how he felt and used hand gestures. He was happy with what he saw. The unnamed patient contacted surgeons after being inspired by Isabelle Dinoir, the French woman who received the world's first partial face transplant in 2005. She'd been attacked by her dog and received facial tissue and a new nose and mouth. In 2008, in America, gunshot victim Connie Culp underwent what was then the most extensive face transplant ever attempted. She received bone, muscle, blood vessel and nerve transplants. British surgeons have welcomed the breakthrough and are continuing to screen candidates here, psychologically as well as physically. Enda Brady, Sky News.